Hey guys, today we are going to answer the question, how do I graph inequalities? So to graph the solution set to an inequality, we first need to describe whether the inequality sign includes the number we're talking about or whether it does not include the number we're talking about. So if it is just a greater than or less than sign, we are gonna put an open circle to show that that number we're talking about is not included. If we have a less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, then we are gonna put a closed circle to show that the number we're talking about is included. So after we do our open or closed circle, then we will need to shade towards the direction on the number line that makes the inequality true. So let's start with x is greater than two. Two is not included in that solution set. It's just everything greater than two. So I'm gonna have an open circle. And then we need to ask ourselves: is it one that's greater than two or is it three that's greater than two? It is three that's greater than two. So we are going to shade towards the three. So that direction would make the inequality true going towards the larger or greater than numbers. Okay, let's look at x is less than two. So again, two is not included. It's everything that's less than two. So I'm gonna have an open circle. And then is it one that is less than two or three that's less than two? It is one. So I'm gonna shade towards the one. And it's the lower numbers that are less than two. Okay, x is greater than or equal to two. This time two is included. We can equal two. So I'm gonna put a solid or closed circle on the two. And then we need to ask ourselves, is it one that is greater than or equal to two or three that's greater than or equal to two? It is three that makes that inequality true. So I would shade towards the three. Okay, and x is less than or equal to two. I'm gonna have a closed circle on two since it says or equal to, two is included in the solution set. And then is it one that is less than or equal to two or three that's less than or equal to two? It is one, so I'm going to shade towards the one. So there are the four different scenarios. If you get confused on how to graph, then go ahead and refer back to these pictures. X is greater than, we're gonna have an open circle shaded towards the right, less than open circle shaded towards the left, greater than or equal to, closed circle shade towards the right, and less than or equal to, closed circle shade towards the left. So let's practice graphing a few more solution sets. I have X is greater than five. So five is gonna go in the middle of my number line, four, and three are below it, and six and seven are above it. And then greater than means that five is not included. It's just everything greater than five. So I'm gonna put an open circle on five. And then let's think about which direction on the number line is gonna make this true. Is it four is greater than five or six? It is six, so I'll shade towards the six, and there's the graphed solution set. Okay, let's look at x is less than or equal to zero. I will put zero in the middle of my number line. Negative one and negative two are right below it and one and two are right above it. And then that would be a closed circle on zero. And then is it negative one or one that is less than or equal to zero? It is the negative numbers, negative one. So I'm gonna shade towards the left towards the negative smaller numbers. Okay, let's look at number three. I have x is greater than or equal to 0 0.5. I'm gonna put 0 0.5 in the middle and that is between zero and one. This would be like 0.25 and 0.75. There's lots of different ways that you could set up this number line. This is just how I chose to do mine. Okay, so x is greater than or equal to 0 0.5. I'm gonna put a closed circle on 0 0.5 and then is it towards the zero? that's greater than or equal to 0 0.5 or towards the one. It is towards the one, so I'm gonna to shade towards the right. Okay, number four says x is less than negative four. So I'm gonna put negative four in the middle of my number line. Negative five and negative six are right below it and negative three and negative two are right above it. 
and then it's less than four, negative four, negative four is not included, so I do an open circle, and then let's figure out what is less than negative four. Is it negative five or negative three? Negative five is less than negative four, so I'm gonna shade towards the left here. Okay, number five says a number more than negative one. So I'm gonna let X be a number and more than is the greater than symbol negative one. And now this is the inequality I need to graph. Negative one will go in the middle. Negative two and negative three are right below it and zero and one are right above it. And greater than means I'm gonna have an open circle. And then we need to determine is negative two greater than negative one or is it zero? Zero is greater than negative one, so I'm gonna to shade towards the zero. Okay, number six, a number is no less than 10. So I'm gonna let a number be x and it is no less than. So if it's not less than, no less than, it could be equal to, but it's not less than, it's greater than. So this inequality will be x is greater than or equal to 10. So 10 will go in the middle, nine and eight right below it, and 11 and 12 right above it. So now let's figure out which way I'm going to shade. Is it nine that's greater than or equal to 10 or 11? It would be 11. So I'll need to shade towards 11 and I didn't even put my circle. It would be a closed circle here since it's greater than or equal to the 10 is included. All right, the last four, they gave us inequalities. We are, or they gave us the graph solution set and we are going to write the inequality that that graph is representing. So this first one, I can tell that the number I'm talking about is 12. So I'm gonna put X in 12 and then it's a closed circle. So I'm gonna put the equal sign. And now we just need to determine, is it less than or greater than that the number line is showing? So it's shading towards 11. Is 11 less than or greater than 12? 11 is less than 12. So that graphed solution set shows X is less than or equal to 12. All right, number eight, I have X, and then the number that we are talking about is negative six. And then it's an open circle, negative six is not included, so I'm not gonna put an equal sign. So the last thing I need to determine is, is this less than or greater than? So it's shaded towards negative five. Is negative five less than or greater than negative six? It is greater than. So the inequality represented here is X is greater than negative six. Okay, number nine, I have X and one is the number that we're talking about. It is a closed circle, so it is equal to. And then I just need to decide, is this inequality showing less than or greater than one? Well, it's shaded towards two, so is two greater than or less than one? It is greater than. Okay, then the last one, they give me a number between one and two, which is 1.5. So X and 1.5, and then this is an open circle, so there's no equal sign. I just need to decide, is it less than or greater than that it's talking about? It is shaded towards one, and one is less than 1.5. So the inequality shown here is X is less than 1.5. 